Hey guys, welcome to ADR Tech Reviews, and I don't know if you noticed, but it kind of looks different, right? Well, that's because I'm filming on a phone, because I filmed this video before, but it kind of didn't work out, because I filmed it on a disc, and the disc pooped on me, because now it doesn't want to read. So I guess that's what happens when you film on really old camera stuff. But anyways, let's go on to the real review. We're going to be doing the review of, well not really review, the unboxing, the little teeny weeny unboxing of the little teeny weeny CPU, APU, whatever you want to call it, it's an APU, that's what it is, the 5350, the AMD 5350, the Ath you know, Athlon series, AM1 socket, APU, it's a really little tiny thing, it costs like 30 bucks and it's perfect for a home theater PC or whatnot, and this is what we're going to be, um, that's what we're going to be unboxing today. What I did want to review was this little mouse here. This is the MX2002. Uh, really great mouse. I've been using it for about a month and I did want to unbox it. Well, not unbox it. Review it today, but I kind of left it at my grandma's house. So, very unprofessional, but I really can't do anything about it. So let's just go ahead and do this unboxing on the unboxing couch. And alright, because I've already done this before, it's already opened up as you see. So let me just get a, give you guys a little closer look. As you can see, this is the 5350 AMD Athlon 5350 quad core AM1 socket processor APU advanced processing unit, meaning that it does have discrete GPU technology within, oh gosh, I've moved the tripod within the multi-core CPU there it is so as you can see pretty simple stuff very low TDP because of this 2.05 gigahertz come on phone focus damn it whatever and two megabytes of cache as you can see and if I can make the phone focus on it there we go on the AM1 platform includes heatsink fan which you'll be surprised how small it is as I open this up so let's get to it here let's open this thing up which is yeah and let me just show you this look at that just look at how small that is this it does include another pin I'm guessing yes it does include another pin it's just in the box somewhere when I shoved it back in but as you can see it is very 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 tiny very tiny uh, let me just actually show you guys the comparison between a normal size CPU box and this. It is of course wider to hold the, seat, the heat sink but it is not the same height as if I put this down. Here we go. It is smaller. Smaller. Yes. Let's move this one out of the way. It's over there. I don't know if you can see it but let me just... There we go. And let's go ahead and see a manual with the sticker. Throw that over to the side. The CPU itself with its little Casing. As you can see, let me just compare it to this 8370E. Yes, 8370E. It is smaller in size because it is a smaller CPU. This is 8 cores, this is 4 cores, and not only that, this is a different architecture. The AM1 architecture specific. specifically made. For um, I'm guessing home theater PCs because there are low powered, uh, low D low TDP CPUs, uh, perfect for like a home theater PC, which is exactly what I'm gonna use this with. I'm gonna be doing a home theater PC for this, so keep your eyes out for that one. And for that little second unboxing, I'm gonna surprise you guys with is this here, the Radeon Memory Entertainment. Oh, look at me in the back. Oh. <gasps> Oh, look at me. Ooh. Okay, the Radeon Memory AMD Entertainment Series. 4 gigabytes, 1 of 4 gigabytes, and the Radeon 1600 megahertz. That's just, yeah, 1600, but I don't know where it says it. Where does it say 1600 megahertz anywhere here? Ugh, all the way down here. But it is 1600 megahertz. So let's open it up. I did have a hard time opening this before, so let me just open it again. And as you can see... Radeon Memory Entertainment Series black matte black PCB, nice and heavy feel. You can see the, you can see the silicon right there. You can see the memory chips if you look really closely. Not 
not really a lot of flex in there. Hopefully not. Let's try not to break it. But I am looking forward to putting this in a system with that a uh, Ace Rock motherboard that I unboxed earlier. So yeah, this is pretty secure in there. And let me see. Is that it? Is that it? Is that all I have to show you guys? You want to look at the CPU again? Let me just take a closer look. Let me just put my finger on this screen here so I can focus. If I don't move my hand. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Well, anyways, let's go back to my face because I know that's exactly what you guys want to see. And let me just wrap this all up. Well, guys, sorry if uh, the audio kind of sucked. And the video, I'm guessing, is a, kinda, is a bit better because I am using a Galaxy S3 and not the shitty camera that I usually use. So hopefully, at least we have one thing that's better. Hopefully, let's see if this even works. I don't even, I don't even know if this is going to work. But hey, let's try it. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked the unboxing. Um, I'm kind of having a hard time with all the construction in my house. I couldn't upload a video last weekend. Uh, I kind of explained this a little bit more thoroughly in my last video that I uploaded two weeks ago. Uh, it's just a lot to deal with. There's no air conditioning in my house. There's no water in my house. It's just a big fiasco, really. It's a big mess. It really is. And it's just that I haven't been able to get to my house and start doing videos, although I really want to, as you know. I really do want to give videos to you guys, but I'm just having lots of trouble with everything. So alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and share to all your friends, please, it really helps. And I'll see you guys in the next one.